in Corinthians, it says, if a woman is divorced and remarries, she has committed adultery. Does this apply if her former husband divorced her? Let me repeat that one more time for you, Bishop. In Corinthians, it says, if a woman is divorced and remarries, she has committed adultery. Does this apply if her former husband divorced her? How about you, Bishop? Well, Liz, I, I want to let you know that we're praying for you, and thank you for the question. Um, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come from Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 31 through 32, and I'm going to read from the NIV version. It says, but I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, <clears throat> except for sexual immorality, makes her the victim of adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. That is the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So uh, the Bible uh, says that uh, if, if a man divorces a woman or if the woman divorces a man, according to how Matthew penned what Jesus wrote, adultery is still the cause. Adultery is still uh, the status of that individual uh, who marries one who has been put away for adultery. Yes. Bishop, you're the praying pastor today, I guess. Would you pray for Liz and pray for this <laughs> and pray for this marriage. We want restoration ultimately, and we want God's strength to come into this marriage. Amen. And, and Father God, I, and Lord, I'm led to ask that Liz receives the peace uh, yes. that, that she deserves. I pray, oh God, that you remove any and all stumbling blocks that may be facing her, that makes her think that she's far from you. We know that sin can be a separated, oh God, but I pray in the name of Jesus that today, that Liz understand that your love conquers all and that with a repentant heart, you will restore. Oh God, your love for her will never fail no matter what she sees in this earth. If her faith fails her not, your power will always resolve around her to bring her to an expected end because you have the thoughts toward her that are good, not of evil. Thank you for her life. Thank you for that of her family. Let restoration be found, let the children be happy, and we give your name the praise. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop. We're going to move on to you with this same question, uh, Dr. James. Same question. Um, and uh, it says, in Corinthians, it says, if a woman is divorced and remarries, she has committed adultery. Does this apply if her former husband divorced her? Bishop Davenport uh, prayed and and offered some advice. How about you? Yeah, Liz, we, we definitely are praying for you. And I think it's, you know, putting the question into proper perspective, if it's a situation where the woman or the man have sinned and then they uh, commit adultery when they remarry. So the question would be whether or not if the wife in this particular case, as the question was framed, uh, committed adultery uh, mm -hmm. and went outside of the marriage, and, which caused the husband to file for divorce, then yes, you, you are going to be held accountable. The Bible declares in, in, in another perspective you can look at it in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, uh, verses 10 and 11, it says a wife must not separate from her husband, but if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband and a husband must not divorce his wife. So, you know, God, we know that God does not like divorces, uh, but at the same time, it is sin, S-I-N, that brings about uh, what is known as a divorce. And so uh, we, we encourage as ministers, uh, uh, family members and marriage couples uh, to work together and read the word of God and understand that God wants a man and a woman to be together according to scripture. That's why he brought them together uh, back in, you look at the back of the book of Genesis where uh, God created uh, humanity, the man and the woman, and they came together as one. And so uh, I think it's important to understand uh, the sin, the sin is what brings about the divorce. But if you can do whatever you can to keep that from happening, you know, you do that and you take it to the Lord in prayer and if you need counseling, to get that counseling to help you in your marriage. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. James. What God has joined together, 
let no man tear apart. We're going to move on to you, Pastor uh, Artie, with this same question, and then we're moving on to the next question. How about you? Same question. Yeah, the pastors did a wonderful job. I just want to add just a little bit to it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to Matthew chapter 5, uh, when it, in verse 31, remember, it's, it's the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, right? Everything is in red. So Jesus is teaching. So he says this in verse 31, furthermore, it has been said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give him give her a certificate of divorce. So he's basically saying, hey, you know what? Moses allowed for divorce, right? But then he does this, right? That's surface level. Then he goes over their heads and he says, but here's what's going on spiritually. And he says, but I say to whoever divorces his wife, uh, other than sexual immorality, commits adultery. So he says, you know, you're looking at things at the surface, surface level, you know, you give her a letter of divorce, you get divorced, but actually what you're doing, what you're doing is actually committing adultery. So, you know, that's where it really 